Okay, first of course you need your plumeria cuttings, properly calloused. And then I use just a generic fold and pleat sandwich bag, not the Ziplocs. You can get these really cheap uh, most grocery stores. A grease pen to put the date on the bag, electrical tape to seal it. There's the bag. And then I've got my bucket of core. This is already pre mixed. It is uh, core 75% and pumice about 25% and it would fall between moist and damp. Okay, so first off you're going to take your bag and write your the date on it. Alright, with a grease marker it's not going to come off when it gets wet. And then I'm going to do a, a heaping handful, probably a little bit more, so it's about two-thirds of the way full. Bags about two thirds, and uh, you're going to take your uh, cutting. I just set it right on top. It'll work its way down into the into the medium. And grab it, pull it up tight. Okay, so the bag is now ready to be sealed. And yeah, so grab my electrical tape and put it on here. Come around with one tight one around the cutting, and then come around the top of the bag. The reason you do that is to keep the bag stable so that it won't move around and it won't possibly break roots. Then you come back around to the cutting, make it as tight as you can, tamp it down, and believe me, this takes practice. You have to do this just a few times before you feel like you've got it. Fortunately, the bags are cheap, right? And then you fold down the flaps. Now, since then, I have uh, moved to a taller, thinner bag, and this is an example of one. Again, I've, I've slid the bag and I fold it down so it doesn't gather water, because when it does that it can leak uh, more into the bag and get the medium uh, too wet. And I do this so that I have more room for cuttings on my rooting table. 